blessed, most merciful Heavenly Father. Lord, I come before you humbly, Lord, and I beg. And I plead, Lord, you give me the courage, the will, the words, the wisdom to speak what you've put in my heart, what you've given me to speak, Lord. I pray in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Amen. I am only the dust of the earth, and no one is beneath me. And the only thing that's special about me is that I am forgiven, and I am God's dirt. Last night, about 5.30 a.m., the Holy Spirit woke me up and told me to write. And this is what he gave me for America. These are not my words. You are proud, so now I will humble you. America has forgot to fear God. I will put the fear of God back in America. You refused to humble yourself before me. Now I will humble you. You have refused to repent of sin. I will make you to repent. You will cry out to me. But your pleas for mercy for America will fall on deaf ears. Because you have turned your back on me. Judgment starts in the church. You have refused to heed my words. You have refused to wear sackcloth and set in ashes. So I will place you in rags. And I will place you in ashes. You have refused to get on your knees before me. So now I, will, now I will put you on your knees before me, but more than that, I will shake you to the very ground. And from the ground, you will tremble and you will fear me. You have wallowed in filth, murder, and abomination. So filth, murder, and abomination, you will get. Your economy will collapse. Earthquakes, tsunamis, volcanoes, pestilence, disease, war, famine, plagues, riots, fire, everything burns. Everything that can be shaken will be shaken. Now praying for America is like praying for a dead man. Because America forgot God and America has mocked God. Now it's like watching the clock tick now it's like watching the clock tick down to an execution. If it were not for the blood of Jesus, we all would have a date with the executioner. For in one hour such great riches has come to naught. For in one hour thy judgment come. America, Babylon, mother of harlots. For in one hour she is made desolate. God will not be mocked. And America cannot be saved. America will fall and never rise again. But there is, there is safety and salvation from what is to come, but only through Jesus Christ. And all you must do to be saved is to humble yourself and admit that you are a sinner in need of a Savior. Repent of your sin and believe in your heart that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. That Jesus was crucified and died on our old wooden cross on Calvary. That he was buried but on the third day he arose from the grave and he walked this earth again inside of men and that Jesus ascended up to heaven inside of men and that Jesus now sits on the right hand of the Father awaiting his glorious and triumphant return. Pray to place all your sin under the blood of Jesus. Pray for Jesus to enter your heart and give you a new heart and be with you all the days of your life that you have left on this earth. You need to speak these words with your mouth. And remember, and God is no longer in the organized churches. At, at least 99.9% .9 of all the churches in America have been turned over to apostasy. In other words, Satan has taken them over. I And do not follow a wolf in sheep's clothes as they will only lead you straight to hell. Such men as Joel Olstein, Jesse Duplantis, uh, Kenneth Copeland, Cruff for a Dollar, and many, many more. They are all wolves in sheep's clothes, and I will deal with them in my time. Follow only Jesus and His Word, found only in your King James Bible, the only true Word of God. So today, the only church that you can trust is the Azusa Street Mission and Revival Church, the Underground Church. This will be the church that would be 
persecuted, hunted, and, and prosecuted, as it will not conform to what other churches have become. And that website is www.azusast.com. And we will be open for as long as they allow us to be here, and then we move underground, if we are still here. Now, if you agree with our goals, we invite you to join us at the Azusa Street Mission and Revival Church. Now, we pray, we pray, Holy Spirit fire come down and put a fire in our bones. Put a fire in our bones. And God bless you. And God keep you and yours is our prayer. And we keep all of you in our prayers. If the Holy Spirit puts it in your heart to support this work, God's work, all we ask is that you obey the Holy Spirit. I do this work from my kitchen table and out of my basement. Now the Holy Spirit says that that's all that I need. I am reminded that God can turn little things into very big things. Look what came out of a manger out of Bethlehem. And we pray, we pray that the Azusa Street Mission and Revival be that prophesied last day's church with a mighty move of God and have tongues of fire and mighty mighty miracles and healings that is what we pray for we pray that arms grow back missing legs grow back missing eyeballs grow back tumors shrink and disappear we just we pray we pray we pray for a mighty mighty move an outpouring these are the last days Lord these are the last days Lord Oh, Lord, it's time, Lord. It's time to pour out your spirit of all flesh. We pray for a mighty move of God. And we pray that you use the Azusa Street Mission Revival for your will, your purpose, your glory, Lord, all for you, Lord, not for us. And we thank you for your love, your prayers, and your support for this ministry. Without faithful people like you, this ministry would not be possible. Uh, you have all every one of you have been a blessing to us and we thank God for sending you our way we keep you and yours in our prayers with much love and more grace from above amen and I want to remind you to stay strong in the faith and to come out of her my people come out of the world separate yourselves from the world as this world is not our home and this world has nothing we need or and, and nothing we want Come away from the world and the things of the world. Pray, repent, believe, and read the words of God found only in the King James Bible. We are near the end. So now please double your prayer time and then double it again. Be in prayer. Be in constant prayer. These are the last days and our time grows very short. I beg you, I beg you to pray. Double your prayers we're going home soon to be with Jesus in the clouds forevermore and we will see you on that day we will see you there we will look for you there is a park bench on the street of gold right across from the crystal sea and after we all see Jesus after we all see Jesus after we all see Jesus and worship him fall down at his feet and sing praises and cry out and pray to him after we all see Jesus, we will meet at that park bench across from the Crystal Sea. All of those that have, that have followed my videos, all of those that have, have read my books, all of those that have, that have heard my message, we will meet at that park bench. And we will worship God. We will sing praises to Jesus Christ. And we will honor and praise and glorify our Lord and Savior. Most high, most high above everything and above everyone else thank you Jesus for you you held nothing back from us you held nothing back from us you gave it all you gave everything you give everything so who, so who are we to hold anything back from you Lord who are we to hold anything back from you Lord we owe you everything we owe you a debt we owe you a debt we could never repay we could never repay Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I give you all the praise, all the glory, all the honor, forever and ever. In Jesus' mighty name I pray, amen.